welcome or welcome back and need help at C squared. Here we're going to see the property of what we call an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, so well, first of all, let's take a look to the definition of an isosceles trapezoid. That is a trapezoid with legs that are congruent. So I'm going to draw one on this rectangle. It is a lot easier. Yeah. You know, let me give you a piece of advice how you can do that. Okay, so for instance, let's put a point here on the rectangle grid. And uh, one, let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is one of the bases. And then let me go here. Uh, right, and if you notice that's these three units away, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. And table. This is what we call an isosceles trapezoid, right? So on a rectangular grid, you can draw things a lot faster. And what is cool about a rectangular, uh, I'm sorry, an isosceles trapezoid, okay? Look at here. These two angles are congruent. Those are base angles. These two angles are congruent. Base angles. That is one of the properties. So base angles are congruent. Not all of them, right? We have two pairs. Okay, angle A congruent to angle D and angle B congruent to angle C. But there is one more property. And if you have a ruler, that will be even better than what I'm doing here. This is the second property, which is that the diagonals BD and AC are congruent. Yeah, very important. The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid, only isosceles trapezoids are congruent. These are only two properties that this isosceles trapezoid has. But don't forget, it's a trapezoid, so yes, the bases are parallels. That is another important thing. That means angle A and B are supplementary D and C also support. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.